factor. Third is relevance. Are you relevant to the needs of people searching? If someone is looking for, uh, let's say, for example, a headache remedy, and they get a search result that points them to a cold remedy that might also talk about headaches, it's not directly relevant to what they're looking for. Now, if they had a cold and were looking for a solution to their headache, it would be relevant. So there are subtle differences in terms of what is relevant to which searchers, and we'll discuss more about that as well. So relevance is primarily a function of your content, not exclusively, but primarily. And success usually requires a strategy for creating that content rather than just doing it kind of accidentally. Uh, I'll see people that have assimilated the message that they should be blogging, for example. And so sometimes large companies and they'll be blogging and they'll be blogging about things that really have no relevance to the types of people that they really want visiting their website. So relevance also is in the eye of the beholder. If, you're, if you've got content on your site that's relevant to a visitor that you don't need to read or reach, then you might be getting traffic, you might be getting rankings, but not for the right type of visitor. Now, relevance is more than just keywords. Um, keywords are extremely important. Um, if you want to learn more about keyword research, I'll give you a link to my keyword research class because keyword research sort of goes hand in hand with content development. Really, you need to have done keyword research in order to do content development. But Google's emphasis is not on specific keywords, but rather on searcher intent. Their algorithmic changes over the years have been a constant effort to understand what that user, that searcher wants, and then present a page that delivers that as closely as possible. Now, at times, even when that page doesn't contain the precise keyword, the searcher used, Google will still show what they think is the most relevant page to their intent. And this is why it's um, a um, not really the best tactic to be overly focused on keywords, but we do use keywords in order to understand searcher behavior. And that's something I try to emphasize in my keyword research course as well. You have to do the same. You have to view your content as appealing to a particular intent. If you're selling, I mean, let's take a not a real world example because no, no pharmacies just sells cold remedies. Let's say if you're selling cold remedies and you're attracting people interested in headache remedies, then uh, you need to figure out how you can appeal to the intent of somebody who's looking for cold remedies. 